Get your your to read your notes. Yeah, speak into Mike. <laughs> <clears throat> I was waiting for you to <clears throat> ask me who Mike was. No, I get it because <laughs> this actually has nothing to do with this Mike at all. Which really, because it would say Mike with a period, which you can't spell. <laughs> but We've already determined that I. Can't you put spell it like a man. You know, it's Mike. Mike. <clears throat> Short for microphone. That is, unless <clears throat> there's some, cr- you know, microphone. It's, that's Mike, and it's M I K E. What what was I supposed to sp- spell it like? M I C, period. Oh, I thought about that, but because then, that's the short version of yeah, that I, paper. I thought about that, <coughs> and then, then I thought M I K E would be better, yeah, would isn't be it? I think it's better. So I wrote a little note that says "Speak into Mike" for Danny, and it says M I K E, and he immediately was like, hey, it's spelled wrong. Fucking the, 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 well, you it's think like about the what fucking English police now. over here. You got to think about what it actually police. says now. Now it says speak, speak into Mike. Speak into Mike. Pretend that he's yeah, Mike. Yeah, fuck that. I should have said. Ain't nobody trying to speak into Mike. I want to speak into a microphone. See, you might be talking up a motherfucker's ass, looking down. His you face. know what? It, I mean, my, it's Mike is 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 a <coughs> slang for microphone. I got it. I okay. knew what it meant. We okay. all knew what it meant. We're just trying to create some content. And be fucking <laughs> edgy and creative. Edgy, really yeah. edge. There's a lot of edge on. <laughs> Don't be edgy. Speaking to Mike. <laughs> yeah, speaking to Mike. Oh well. Yeah, it's like you're being a. Uh, uh, Speak, what does that mean? Speak. Oh, but yes. Speak, that's a pretty strong word, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> it puts streaks of speakingness into the... <laughs> uh, welcome to WRBN Podcast. Uh, what's up? It's Danny Bone. That's Brad Darnell. And... Ow, my wrist itches. <laughs> and, uh, it's like riding a horse through here. What? We're riding a horse with no name. I said my wrist stitches. And you said it's like riding a horse <laughs> through here. I'm like, what the fuck? Danny. Horse with no name. Yeah, that's how crazy this show is. Yeah, my wrist itches and I'm riding a horse with no name. Hey, <laughs> that horse never knew his name any damn way. <laughs> do horses know their name? I mean, do you call a horse? Well, I think, I think the it, whole name thing for horses is just like it is for people. It's a sound that you can relate to. You think? It's like, you know, you're going to be Brad. You're going to be Brad. 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 <laughs> I bet Brad. you have to Next answer thing to Brad. you know, I they're like, Brad. Brad, we got some huh? Gerber. Brad. Huh? Titty Brad. Titty <laughs> Brad. <laughs> yeah. And then next thing. You had me a titty. Yeah. And then next thing you know. And, yeah. Next thing you know. You know yeah. That's what just, I do to my dog. So. Yeah. Well. It, it, Joey. Yeah, he's learning his name. Uh, uh, it's, uh, do you think that horses know their name at? Uh, it's funny because last week we were, we were talking about a name and you were saying something. I was like, boy, that'd be a good name for a horse. You were saying. Are you talking about, because uh, I want it? a donkey. You want a donkey? Is that what it is? No. But donkey I would be cool. I want to call a donkey. I, I want a donkey and I want to name him Doug. Doug the donkey. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, a donkey is the only, well, not the only animal, but I don't know of, but the only animal I know of that makes, that their name is the sound that they make. Can you explain donkey. for me? Oh, do it again. Donkey. Or donkey. Is, that what they, is that what they do? Is that what they're called a donkey? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Shit. Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Animal Tell sound. Charlemagne. Rid- <laughs> Why did I do animals. that to myself? <laughs> but yeah, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a great reel. Yeah. Donk. Donk. <laughs> Donkeys are the only <laughs> And they fucking love doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I love doing it. Shit. I like a donkey. <laughs> I really and like making it. Donkey. I like making a donkey sound. Especially a spirited donkey. <laughs> you know what? One's got a lot of heart. Oh, oh. I'm gonna give me Doug. a prize, Fucking Doug the donkey. <laughs> you can call me a, Doug. I might get a damn. Doug's a proud donkey. He sounds Doug. Like Doug. Damn Doug. Yeah, Doug, man. Doug. Yeah. Doug. Doug the donkey. I got other names too, but <laughs> but Doug seems like a good name for a donkey. Mm-hmm. People are like, "What the fuck?" I've been Shanghai'd. Army's a good one. Army for a donkey, name for a donkey. Army. Mm-hmm. Meet my donkey, Army. Yeah. Army donkey. He's <laughs> he's in the navy. <laughs> well, you know, I wondered if I was if 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 Maggie would have been a boy, who was gonna name. I wanted to name the child Army. Speak into I wanted Mike. to name the child Army if it would have been a boy. And Shift said, hell no. And then I wanted to name it, uh, I think the other name I had was like Salvatore or Salvatore <laughs> or something. And she said, no. And then. You just like I could call him Sal uh, for short. Yeah, Sal. And uh, then, you know, I like old school names. Army. Shit like that. Uh, some it seems like some celebrity has a kid named there is Army one, right now, and I thought of it first. It, no, hang on, it, in, even is though it he a may sports be per, person, who no, there's it? a some dude named Army. But I told Shift that shit uh, when we was trying to name if the baby was a boy, and um, if Maggie was a boy, and uh, the damn uh. She said, hell no, Army. That's just what I was like. Uh, I, I want to name it Army Green. Alexander. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm so glad that that didn't happen. Army yeah. Green. Now, don't get me wrong. If he was a you know famous rapper or, you know, it sounds like Army Green would be destined to be something, like a golfer. Hmm. That's what I'd go with if I was had a kid. I would just like start the, raising uh, to be a the golfer. The motherfucker that I damn Army Green. Guy, what does Army Green do? He's he's something. Army Green. not Army Green. Oh, the the kid, the dude named Army. Uh, uh I, I think it's some kind of like action hero type joint. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It sounds like he would be. I don't know a lot about. Yeah, I, I I'm not gonna movies. find it at all. Do you know his last name? <laughs> Or, oh, uh, no. Because <laughs> you can't get to find him. Uh, it's Army. Anyway, do you have any other names? Uh, R? They, did they start with R? R? No. R. And then we just went with <coughs> R- uh, Magdalene Dre Alexander. And, uh, you know, she was a girl, and me and Shift both loved that. And- that's what it was. And we got one cool ass kid. Yeah. Get, get, you have, uh, yeah, you do, she, don't you? She is fun. It's funny because uh, Tara was talking about trying to get her on the show. It was interesting. <coughs> I'd love to get her on the show. She'd cuss all of us out. 
<laughs> she, you know what? She Maybe I would. don't want her on the show. She would probably nah, she expose probably. me for the person that I am. She Maybe might. she'd be like, uh, you don't know what you're doing. I don't know what she's doing. And, and she, I don't know what I'm doing a lot of down. times. I'm like most people. I'm like, am I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just doing what I do. She's working. You know? She's sounds killing like, it. Well, she, sounds like she's doing what she's doing. It sounds like she's doing a good job. So yeah. I, I would hope that, you know, maybe she would listen to this someday. <laughs> People don't really damn listen to what they put. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah. She yeah. may have probably is not in the hundreds of doing, people that listen to it. She us. might be better off for it. She might be better off for it. Oh, that's, that's, I don't know what, the, I don't know what that's saying. What that's mm. saying. Back into that? this, back into this record, Danny. Uh, cause we can, it stretches on for a long time. Uh, uh um another song another track this one um the what what's up with this one what is it aim to please uh getting inside sounds think, like a brooks song yeah brooks broke the hook and it sounds like it's mo it's a lot of uh, a lot of Brooks. It sounds like the whole thing is Brooks. Yeah, it pretty much is. It pretty much it sounds is. like the whole thing song. is Brooks. And uh Yeah. Now it's weird because um you know that we uh uh this you do you sing on the chorus or anything like that? Surely. I don't remember. I do remember uh that uh who did I think you know it's I might be on the song, but I, I can't remember. I remember it was kind of a Brooks song. <clears throat> I think. Shit, I don't. I think it's most mostly him, if I'm on it at all. So, that's my guess. Killer Mike is on it. Is on that song? Mm-hmm. Well, that's how it's listed. You want to hear it? What is it? Um, I I think that you're I I think that you you sing on the chorus. I could be wrong. Okay. 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 Well, I mean, it says featuring Killer Mike. I mean, uh, that one would be uh, yeah. Killer Mike Thank was you from Georgia. Hey, sleeping oh. giant. Yeah. Ah. Ah. I want somebody now to come lay down with me. I got that dirty sound. Yeah. And girl, I ain't a please. She tender like tenderoni. Suck the meat off the bony. Know that I'm feeling lonely. Make me some macaroni. Cook me a cheese steak. Sit with me by the lake. My bother with being fake. Fuck it, let's mate. Like rabbits and caribou. You boss a nut over you, all in the family room, letting the bass boom. You smiling right now, but you'll be washing your face soon. I somebody now. Come lay
talk a lot. She thinks some love in the butt. I'm just cutting up. So if it's wood grain in the pot. Bowling ball 24s make these hoes holler. Swallow even they believe in everything I'm speaking. Goes in my mouth, damn right up from the south. Looking like a million bucks. I did die for some chucks. Fruits spew for Danny Boom. Crawling all up in your womb. and produced a lot of huge songs and he was parental advisory was KP Mello and Reese as far back as I know and KP uh, Yellow Bull KP was uh, in the game and uh, Mello Dope as fuck, just real laid back ass dude, can play a trumpet, make beats, pretty dope. And Reese is a, a very fucking just driven dude. And, and he likes a lot of different type of shit, otherwise we wouldn't have got, you know, all of them did. They were all liking different shit. So they, that's why we got... <laughs> Like uh, on Southern Discomfort and all that. Yeah, yeah. They was we wasn't fucking around. We was just doing hip hop shit. They weren't, and that's when like they came in with them distorted drums and this and that. And you know, <clears throat> she's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Very cool. It's and very cool. Gary Smith did a lot too. He was. I don't know why he's still not making beats, but he probably found it to be a headache of some sort. <laughs> uh, that that uh, that that is Killer Mike, right? No, no, on, on that song, who is it? Uh, I think it's Reese. Reese. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I think it's Reese. It's always labeled Killer, Killer Mike uh, on the on line, well, so it's, it's weird. But yeah, it, and then they put it up. Yeah. You know, shit. That shit. Don't I know what you're talking about. It's fucking Kanye or something, so that motherfucker. Yeah, right. Really get some clicks on that motherfucker. So, <laughs> all right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. That would make sense. Uh huh. Yeah. AI. Yeah, AI. AI uh, really ruined it. You, uh, it ruined it for everybody. It's now it's a. Uh, heard a song the other day. It sounded like you. It was like, oh, uh, no, I'm just saying AI, Danny Boone. <laughs> A old, uh, oh, an age joke. You like that? Yeah, it's just not you right. Really yeah, no, that was a. Uh, you know what I like to get into? Um, Danny's male sack. Let's hey, get into Danny's sack tonight and see what's, that. see what's see yeah, what's see what's going on. Mike, and I don't need <laughs> you to check out my male sack. Don't be looking at my sack. <laughs> Tonight, we have a few questions, Danny. Um, I'm going to ask you some very behind-the-scenes questions just for you, just for you guys. Uh, first question is, why why didn't you officially ever record Burt Reynolds? And this is from uh, Lizzie Hewitt, our, one of our awesome Patreons. But what's the deal on that? Um, I never wrote any verses for it because all the verses, you know, I 
regurgitated verses over and over for years and reused them in different scenarios when pressed because I've had them since I was a kid. And uh, I think we came up with that hook, but we never, I never came up with original verses for it. So I never, so when we did it live, we was just trying to uh, just have something jamming for you know just something you know wasn't like we was trying to make a song we was just playing live. Here's the hook, uh, and here's some old verses that I can do to make it a song. And I just you know figured since it was the way it was that that would be the way it was because I had never. People like it like that, then I I always wanted to write new verses, but I'm not going to. So why didn't why didn't you just ever record it? Just never wrote any verses? No, I bullshit had it. verses for a long time. Some of the verses are from uh, uh yeah, old but but like still. from uh rehab uh I mean, I can play a live version. So I've got it soon, dude. Uh, the, the 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 what, is, what was what, one of tell me, tell me about, got me thinking mechanical puffing on the botanicals every second so critical. Yeah, over the human language, I'm speed on my mental fucking mechanical second the appetite to cannibal for. Yeah, yeah, that one. But what about the whole uh, the 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 second verse that you would do on there that sounds so so different from anything you've ever done? It's almost sounded like uh. Uh, I mean, you can make me play it. it it's on the uh, I don't know. um, uh, was it tapestry woven artistry for a large on point up policy bonus? If I follow me, the, without them, digital prophecy. Nope. I don't know. No, no, no. I, I, I'm gonna pull it up. Watch this, but it's so it's, love ramen though, man. That shit gets me crunked up. When I feel like I really want to put pen to paper, I get fucking. All right, it's this one right here. You want to hear it? Fucking yeah, sick ass, sick, sick, sick ass version. I recorded this in Nashville. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What song is it? Oh, Burt Reynolds. That's cool. Burt Reynolds is cool. No, this, but the second verse is what I'm. I'm not evil Knievel, yeah! but I'm pretty fucking close. I'm more like Ernest T. Bass with a little more class and Elvis had good dope. Check it out.
Kick-ass video, too, huh? Yeah, it was pretty good. Hey. I mean, you know. Uh, well, I mean, I recorded that in uh, 2008. Uh, no, the video places. was good. I'm saying just the, uh, uh, well, you the, know, we kind of threw, like I said, the song was thrown together, but that, that shit man. was performed so fucking well. what's up with that second verse, dude? That I, think I, I was like talking about. I'm probably the second to step in this country. I wrote that shit in man. 1990, maybe 90, 91. 91 yeah well how, did you write it I how like did you write it how you were how you were rapping it because right there where you're rap i've never heard you rap like that before in any other song really how you man th- that's just bizarre no how you're the way that i've been bringing the roll like red meat in the store stepping the rip at your jaw Why maybe it, got a gun you better get it out your pocket I mean, and cock it before you hitting the floor see I, the stars of rock and stick that get the door close it up and lock it shoot them if they're knocking i don't care if you a million there billion there up in here keep your money throw your skill in the air we are okay it. maybe it's because of 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 the uh bump 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 behind it you know what i mean it, you got you get you also got that that whole fucking that whole big deal of that that band playing that yeah that gig behind you and you know I mean when you're when you're doing that rap right there they're going bam 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 they kind of they're kind of you know chopping it up and it right. sounds so fucking cool uh, it Jeff almost Fel- sounds uh, got Caribbean uh, it's got a Caribbean it was, sound it was almost. Uh, uh, reggae, if yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit of a reggae, yeah, yeah. Have, uh, that's what I was. That's that. what I was thinking. Reggae, kind of, kind of has a reggae kind of vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. And don't you know what I mean? You, you, uh, uh, I do. And, and it, you know, back uh, you had Lamar with you, and I mean, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, you know how you everybody knows how great reggae? he is. Huh? You saying Lamar's reggae? No, I'm just saying yeah. Lamar is the. It's fucking awesome. Nah, he's got the great singer, best. man. Nah, that kid, fuck it with every, you. Oh, I know. Yeah. He can be reggae. Best. He can sing reggae if he oh, wants. Come on, man. That motherfucker. Man, I just miss Lamar. I haven't seen he's him in dude. too long. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's a great dude. He's <laughs> super talented. And, uh, you know, he's doing his thing at Yosh. Man, he is doing his things out there on the road with the hotel. What's, 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 he's out there on the road. Um, uh, actually, uh, one of Tara's friends just went to just went to a, a show and posted posted pictures. I was like, "There's Lamar up there on stage, just killing it." He's great, great artist. Uh, that was a voice like an angel. Yeah, yeah, man, that guy can sing. Guy yeah, can sing, and ain't scared to do it. No, he shouldn't be. No, he should. He should not be scared to do it. Well, that was a pretty good question from the mail sack. We really dove dove, dove in deep to that one, right? <laughs> we were, we're really getting deep that? in the sack. We did. Well, she asked a question, then we went I and had played we were a just song. Hanging out. I thought we were too, but apparently not. <laughs> uh that was pretty good though. No, that was that was a good question, and that was a I I feel like it was a pretty good answer from us, from you. Uh, you actually, yeah, it was a good answer, and we played some. We played a played a version of the song. You know, right? That's right. And that's that's pretty good. Answer we we give you our all point. here. We right to the point. We give you our all. I, I don't want none of these answers, son. Don't want, you don't want to even know. 
Hanson. All right. Uh, Jansen. I got a question. This is another question for the mail sack tonight. Uh, uh, have you, this is, this is, I don't know. This, uh, have you ever, have you ever looked at Cape Girardeau venues? Have you ever heard of Cape Girardeau, this place they call the Cape? No. Oh, no. He's like, I don't Where know. Where is it? He's shaking his head. No, I don't know the Cape Girardeau. Now, where is it? Uh, it's in Missouri. Oh, see, I thought it was. Yeah, I mean, no, I uh, haven't heard it. I think there's two people from that are from there. Let me think. I want to say Cheryl Crow is from Cape Girardeau. I could be wrong. And I want to say uh, Rush Limbaugh is from Well, Shore, I was uh, thinking uh, of that island. Yeah, I'm over. <laughs> no, an island? No, it's not an island. But anyway, uh, no. And then the dude said it's, you know, it's from Rick Bailey. He's uh, one of our Patreons and he, uh, I guess he, he lives in, in Cape, but he said, uh, he would, what about Paducah venues? You know what I mean? That he would come to Paducah and, uh, you have played here before yeah, close man. to Paducah. You played in 2022 well and probably going to do it again in 2024, yeah. September. Duke is shit. So anyway, we got that going on. We got hey. that going on. Buh, buh, buh. And Danny's playing everywhere else. Y'all please go check the check the tour dates at uh rehabtheband.com. Yeah, bring it on. Um go here. go see those guys out on the road. Uh Danny's bringing it to you live, right in your face. And direct. Right to your face. Oh. I mean, right to your face. To the <laughs> To the to the point. Blackheads on your nose, you gross, <laughs> right. greasy bastard. <laughs> right to your face. Make sure you get front row and bring sandwiches. And, and, and bring sandwiches. Yeah. I, I, you know, when somebody says that they're coming to the show, I always comment as WRBN and put bring sandwiches just because I think that it's a big cool thing to do is bring you sandwiches. What kind of sandwiches do you like? Would you like people uh, to bring you ham? I like uh, uh I like Italian subs. And shit oh like yeah, okay. A, a nice hot yeah Italian sub. Not, oh, like warm yeah, not yeah, hot, not like, like spicy. But. No, 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 not spicy, but warm, like still wrapped up in the the yeah, thing. You know, cool. that would be nice, huh? Yeah, I like okay. I like shit like okay. that. Okay, I'll make a note of that. So hey, when I say bring Jersey sandwiches, Mike's. y'all know bring him a Jersey Mike sub. Uh, that's nice and toasty. Uh, Jersey Mike's is he, that shit. Yeah, I, you like the yeah, Jersey Mike's? Yeah, Do you, I like Jersey. Mike's. What about the? Uh, the uh, is there anyone that you detest? Is there like I don't want a Subway sandwich that's a yeah? I used to I used to dig those, but I don't, they're probably not. Man, good I don't I like I don't fuck with all Subway. kind of fast food. I just don't mess with it anymore because <laughs> mentally I'm, I'm talking about sandwiches though. Sandwiches. Uh, so Jersey Mike's, you're down with Jersey sure, Mike's. I love how about Jersey uh, Mike's. you ever had the? Uh, how about the? Um, what's that one? That one place we have around here. It's called. Is it Quiznos? Yeah. Shit, it's pretty good. Quiznos sandwich. When they first came to one of Robins, which it ain't there no more. I think now they sell it. Really. Phones. But uh, I had a sandwich at a Quiznos first time, and it was so good. But I never had another one that good. Uh, you got to check it out here. At, uh, we have one that's pretty good. Anyway, I we're talking about sandwiches. Maybe we should roll out. Uh, hey, y'all, uh, please, uh, you know, s- subscribe. Come check out our show. Like us and uh, rate us. Um, like us and rate us. Hey, what about this? <laughs> oh, no, God. Just judge us. <laughs> just, just judge, judge us. the shit out of us. <laughs> uh, you know, right? Just judge us. Like tell us, us what you rate think. Us. You know, tell us what you how you think that we should be doing the show. You know what I mean? Uh, what Danny should be saying? Yeah. You know, what what information he should have, and what what I should be doing, and just do that. Yeah. That'd be great. And and judge us, and uh, and and also um, uh, follow us on all the socials. I can agree with that more. Can you and see that? Then- can you see that part? What are you talking about? Yeah, I wrote it in super huge writing. <laughs> Follow us on all the socials. Come watch all of the podcast videos in our Patreon. 
check you next time. Interest, challenges, and circumstances. Whoa.